Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel where we're going to solve a question under binomial which involves the system of showing what is on the left hand side to what is on your right hand side. The concept behind this question is very simple and straightforward and this has to be the most interesting question. This has to be one of the most interesting questions that we need to know how to solve. So the best approach that I'm going to use for me to solve this question is to check what I'll get on my left hand side and what I'm going to get on my right hand side. If they are equal, meaning that this question has been proven. Let's start solving and we see how it goes. So I'll start by doing what I have on my left hand side. Then I'll come to what I have on my right hand side. If not, I can even check what is happening on this part. Then I'll come to what I have on the left hand side. According to the principles of binomial, we understand that if something has been written like this, uh, if you have this one in a form of combination, this can just be the same as n factorial over, you say n minus the r factorial, then you say r factorial. That's the principle that we are going to be using for us to solve this question. Interesting. Same applies. If you don't have anything in the middle, this is just one and the same as that. Meaning that what you have here can also be expressed like that. Let's try to do that. So we are going to have n factorial on this part. We are going to have n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial plus. Same applies even on this part. What you have on the down part, it stands for an n. That's what we call n. So you can take it to be your n like the way it is, meaning that what you have on top has to be written like n factorial over here. What I'm going to do, I'll say n minus r. r in this case has to be this entire thing. So we're going to have n minus open bracket r minus 1 to be our n. And I'll put this entire thing in bracket. I'll say this. Then you remember, in, instead of writing an r here, we have to take it like the way it is. We're going to have r minus 1. I'll put a factorial like this. Interesting. Okay. How can you get what you have on your right hand side? Let me try to break down what I have on my li uh, right hand side. This, if you, you see properly what you have on top, is just one and the same as writing it in a format of n, of which I'm going to say n plus 1 factorial over, then down I'll say n plus 1, remember you take this entire thing to be your n, then you say minus what you have on the part of r, so we're going to have something like this, you say r factorial, then you come to r, like that. Okay, if we try to deal with what you have on the left hand side, our main aim is to come up with this, are we going to reach on this part, the moment we have a similar thing to what we have on the right hand side, meaning that we've shown the same question. Okay. So here what we are going to do is it's very possible for us to break down um to break down this comma part even this part is let me try to break down what i have on my left hand side if it is going to give us a similar thing with what i have on that other part and how do you break this so we are going to have if you have uh r factorial this can just be broken down like this we're going to have r then we can also have r minus one r minus 2 of which you can also write this one as r multiplied by r minus 1 factorial it's just one and the same why because you keep on breaking down or keep on um, descending in terms of the numbers that you're reducing the number suppose you have 3 factorial how do you reduce this number this one can just be like this 1 so for you to reduce in that similar i mean in that way what do you do we always follow a simple rule by subtracting a 1 from the first number. You subtract 1, meaning that the second one has to be a 2. You subtract 1 from this one, the third one is going to be a 2, I mean a 1. Or what we can do is you subtract a 1 from this, you get a 2. You subtract a 2 from that, you're going to get something like that. Let's try to do the same thing on this part. I'll leave this part or, yeah, I can just leave this part like the way it is. If you leave that same part like the way it is, we are going to have something like n factorial, um, n factorial 
over. Let me try to break down this one using this format. So I'll, take, I'll try to take it like this. Why am I taking like this? I want to come up with a way which is going to lead, lead me up to that far end. So in, in this part, we are going to have something like this. I'll say factorial. Then on this part, I'm going to break this one. If you break this one, you can take it like this. We are going to have R over R minus 1 factorial. Plus, I'll come to this factorial. Then N. If you check properly, this negative can multiply with what you have inside. So if you multiply with what you have inside, definitely you are going to have negative by R. It has to give us negative R. Then negative and that one we are going to have positive. One, I'll close, say factorial. Then on this part, we are going to have R minus one factorial. <coughs> okay, we're going to have something like that. All right. Um, now the thing is, we can check properly what we have on both the left hand side and what we have on the right hand side. Do we have something which is common on the left hand side as well as the right hand side? Do we have something which is common on the left hand side and the right hand side? It's possible for me to make what I have here and somewhere that to be similar. What we are going to do is we can also reduce this one. Which part am I going to reduce? I can just reduce what I have on this part. I can reduce this one. How am I going to reduce n minus r plus 1 factorial? If I want to reduce this one, meaning that you have to keep on subtracting by 1. So we're going to drop this one, say n factorial over n minus r factorial r multiplied by r minus 1. Let's hope you are following where this comma part is coming from. It's just a matter of breaking it down in that way. Some applies to this. You can also write 3 multiplied by 3 minus 1 factorial is just one and the same thing. We understand that if if you have 2 factorial, it has to give you something like <clears throat> 2 multiplied by 1. So let me try to break down again what I have down here so that I, at least I can come up with something which is going to be similar to what you have on your right hand side. Alright, so if you try to subtract 1 from this part, this has to be broken down like this now. I'm going to start reducing this one. We can have n minus r plus 1 then if you subtract 1 from this part, we are going to have n minus r factorial. So I'll end here. I'll end here because the one which is there has disappeared due to, to the fact that we've subtracted by 1. So here we have something like this. Remember, our main aim is to come up with this. <clears throat> and where is this coming from? It comes from that kind of part. So on this part, if you check properly, do we have anything which is common on the denominator and the numerator? The answer is yes. We have this part as well as that part, meaning that we can try by all means to do it to factor out what is common. So I'm going to factor both the numerator and the denominator. On top we have n, which is common. Do this, I'll say over. Down here we have this, we also have that, we have that, we also have that. So I'll do the same. I'm going to have n minus r, then you say factorial. You take what is common on both sides, which is this one. Told you. you close. What thing are you remaining with on this part? We have 1 over R. Why? Because if you multiply 1 over R by this, it has to give you something like that. So I'm going to write 1 over R plus. What thing are you having on this part? Here we have 1 over T. 1 over N minus R plus 1. Do you know that if you multiply R by this, it has to give you R factorial? multiplying r by r minus 1 factorial this is just one and the same as r factorial why because it's more like you're moving forth and back it's more like you're moving forth and back we proceed so i'll do this let me put a closed bracket then <clears throat> on this part let's try to deal with what we have inside the brackets i'll drop this n minus r factorial R minus 1 factorial. This is something which is very, very simple. Denominator, we can get the, uh, the entire thing which is there. Then R, open, N minus R plus 1 is our denominator. 
this into that, we are going to have this. This multiplied by 1, we are going to have n minus r plus 1. This into that, definitely we are going to have r. And r multiplied by that, I will say plus r. I'll close. So n factorial over n minus r factorial r minus 1 factorial over on the numerator we can add negative r and r and the answer has to come out as the denominator this is r <coughs> all right by the way now we can do this we are going to multiply how are we going to multiply how are we going to multiply do you remember that if you try to uh, to get back a bit try to slowly get back a bit to what you are going to have if you start getting back to what you have we are going to understand that if i multiply this and what i have on this part it has to give me r factorial right if i multiply this and that it has to give me r factorial why because check a proper arrangement which we have there r multiplied by r minus one factorial it has to give us that because <coughs> this one it has to be broken down and it will give you something like that same applies if i multiply this you get back a bit where you have to multiply if you multiply this and what you have there it has to give you something like n minus r plus one factorial why are we getting this is because for me to get something like the relationship between this one and that one the multiplication of this and that one i had to break down what i have on this part so reducing this one it gave me something like this meaning that if i multiply these two i have to get what i have on that other part let's try to proceed same applies if you multiply this one and the numerator n factorial multiplied by n plus one it has to give you something like n plus one factorial why let me try to reduce this one and reduce what i have on the left hand side if we're going to get the same thing here we have n plus one i'll write it here n plus one let me try to do this then this one can also be reduced like n multiplied by n minus one factorial if you keep meaning that we are going to have n minus one multiply by n minus 2 factorial something like that until you come up with a simplest version if you check the right hand side here we are moving from this which is n plus 1 factorial i can write it here n plus 1 factorial how can you reduce this one if you reduce n plus 1 factorial this can just be the same as n plus 1 multiply by n if you check the moment you remove one from this part you have an n then if you keep on reducing, you are subtracting 1 from this again. We are going to have n minus 1. Why? Because we are almost reducing by 1. So if you check this and what I have on the left-hand side, they are just 1 and the same. Meaning that what I'm going to do is, if you multiply this and what you have on the numerator, it has to give you something like n plus 1 factor. Let me try to write it here. We are going to have... We are going to have uh, n plus 1 factorial. Why? Because I know that if I reduce this one, it's just one and the same as reducing the relationship of n factorial multiplied by n plus 1. This can be reduced, but this you can't reduce it. Why? Because it doesn't have a factorial. Reducing this one, you get n multiply by n minus 1 factorial or you can keep on moving so long you keep on reducing by the 1 so that's what we are going to have on the numerator denominator multiplying this and r it will give us something like r factorial why because for me to break down r it has to give me something like r multiplied by r minus 1 factorial same applies if you multiply this and what you have on this part it has to take you back to n minus r plus one factorial so here i'm going to have n minus r plus one factorial if you check properly this thing it comes from what you have on the left hand side 
if you check properly again, you find that for me to reduce this, I had to reduce this one in a way that we are going to have n plus 1 factorial. Down here, we subtract by r. We are going to have n plus 1 minus r factorial multiplied by r, which is just one and the same as what you have on this part. That's how we show this camera question, as simple as that. Try to subscribe, share, and follow our Facebook page, Coral Sequential Tutorial. Thank you very much.